Hey there crazy kids, I am the Good Old Gamer and welcome back to some more Bountiful Minecraft out here in the jungle biome, continuing where we left off in the previous video. We're just exploring around, seeing what we can find, gathering some resources, um, because I'm still trying to recover from the sickness that I had. So I don't feel like going through all the effort of building the bridge and stuff yet that I plan to do eventually, probably after this video. So we're just kind of rum rambling around, seeing what's what. It's not often that we get easy access to the top of a jungle tree, so I think I'll make the use of it. Let's see if we can get a few more saplings, potentially. And yes, as you can tell, the cough is still lingering there. But that's okay. This video may be shorter than the previous one anyway. Since I've basically done everything I wanted to do in the previous video, I'm just kind of bumming around right now. Not really up to a whole lot. Give me that sapling. We got five saplings now, that's good. It's gonna be nighttime again. Days in this game are so short. Too bad this game doesn't come with an uh, in-game map. Like, I know you can craft maps and then go fill them in and all that crap, but it would just be nice if they had just an in-game map that you could check in on, you know, hit a button and have a screen look come up like this, and then you can see which parts of the map are filled in and which aren't, and not have to go through the whole process of crafting them and then only having smaller maps and putting them together and all that other crap. I know there are mods for that, but it would be nice if you didn't have to have a mod to do that. Jungle trees can get to be really, really tall. So you can see, like, over there. Some would say they're ridiculously too tall. But whatever. I don't understand why jungle saplings are so rare. I don't get that. What is the point of the rarity? I mean, it's kind of rare enough to find a jungle as it is, depending on the world you spawn in. <coughs> I don't understand the point of that. Like, is there some game-breaking thing if you're... if you have access to too many jungle saplings? I don't... I don't really understand the point of that, but, uh... Whatever. We got eight saplings, that's more than enough. Still haven't found <coughs> any temple or anything like that. Wee. Of course, when you jump in water, you don't take fall damage. I have feather falling anyway, so I don't think even if I landed in water that it would have killed me, but uh, that's something to keep in mind when you're up high. If you've got a bit of water you can jump into, that'll get you down quickly. Of 
kind of just going along the edge of this biome, I guess. It's a, it's a really good sized biome. I'm quite happy with it. <coughs> It'd be nice if there was a temple, but even if we don't find one, that's fine. That's just bonus. If not, it's all good. If we do, it's even better. Just kind of looking around, seeing what's what. Not a whole lot going on. Curious to know what you guys find hap um, <laughs> happen to be either rare or currently <coughs> non-existent biomes in your worlds. Talked about biomes in the previous video about uh, how we haven't come across a desert or a mesa or anything like that. I was just curious what biomes you guys happen to not be able to find or maybe have only found one of or it took you a while to find one, whatever. I know Mindfiend said he hasn't found a desert yet either. And I certainly haven't. I think I really only want a desert for, well, one of those desert temples would be nice, but uh, mainly for cactus, since cactus can only, you only find cactus naturally in deserts. It would be nice to find a desert for that, and then, like I said, I can get a few cactus and then make my own cactus farm. That would be it. I'm not too worried about the sand because, as we've all seen in these previous videos, uh, anywhere that there's been beaches for sand in this world here, there's been a, a bunch of sand. So I'm not particularly worried about running out of that or anything or having to go too far to find it. But uh, cactus is would be nice to have. Not that I have a whole lot of use for them either, but just to have them in case I need them, you know. Green dye and, uh, you know, defenses of various kinds. Some cactuses would be handy to have in, like, say, a spider dungeon grinder farm thing, whatever you want to call them. <coughs> Whoa! And the world is starting to not generate again, which means I should probably just start heading back home. Okay. Hold on. Save and quit. Have you guys been having this issue in your worlds at all? Where world generation starts becoming an issue, is that just something that happens if you've explored too much of the world, or perhaps if you've played this game for too long, like I've been playing this game probably about an hour now, because I recorded this, I'm recording this video and the previous video all at the same time. I don't know, that could just be a thing, or maybe it's just that this world's slightly bugged like that, I don't know. Hard to tell. I'm not really sure what the issue is because my computer is pretty beastly. It's not like it's running out of resources or something, so... I don't know. That's kind of weird, but whatever. And now it's lagging a bit, so I guess we're going to start making our way home. Home is that way, so I guess we were hitting kind of home anyway. So we'll just hit in that direction. I really don't know what is up with this. Maybe I just need to restart my computer. I don't know. I haven't done that in probably a little while. That could be a thing. Well, I haven't seen lag this bad in a long time. This game is messed up. 
It does not want me here. That's for sure. Generated too much new land, I guess. Game's like, nope, that's enough for one day. I'm like, okay, game, I'll go home. I kind of want to make this video a little shorter than the previous one anyway. You win. I'm too sick to argue with you. Just let me get home, please. Wow, seriously. Here we go. Now it's running fine again. Game, you are weird. You are so weird. Why would one area be so difficult and then you just two blocks over? Oh, you're fine. Or not fine, potentially. Never mind what I was saying. I perhaps jinxed myself, jinxed myself right there, but uh, whatever. Let's see about making our way home. We do have kind of a ways to go. Got some soothing tunes to help us get home though, that's nice. Wow, I don't I don't know what's with this stupid crappy frames. Uh that really hasn't helped a lot. And I'm back. The game came up with a screen that said out of memory for some retarded reason. I don't know why that is. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM on this machine. I don't think it could possibly be out of memory, but, uh... Yep. The game really hates me right now. Uh, this is weird. I'm gonna be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back again. So I fully restarted Minecraft, quit all the way out of it, and let's see if this helps. I really don't know what's going on. And now I'm back, and everything seems to be good again. I, I guess for some reason if you play for more than an hour in Minecraft, you might have to restart it? I don't know, that was... That was weird. Now I'm getting like 60 frames a second. <laughs> even even though a minute ago I was getting nothing. Okay, now it's down to 30 again. Um, 30 is where I have the game usually set for recording. Well, fraps, I mean, but not necessarily the game, I guess. No, nope, it's running 60. Well, it's like it's actually like it's on a beast machine again now. Uh, maybe that's just. I don't know, that's weird. I, maybe that's with the latest update or something. And I don't know why that happened, but whatever. We're making our way home again. That's the best thing. At least my world's not totally busted right now. I was kind of worried about that. I had no idea what was going on for a minute. I guess I'm going to try and make it home while I can. Seems to run pretty good in the home area, so...
Minecraft can be really weird sometimes. Like seriously, I, I have... I don't have the best graphics card for my computer, but I have damn near everything else pretty good. So... I don't know. If Fallout New Vegas can run on this machine just fine, I don't know why Minecraft can't. I mean, I know it's made in Java and all that, but I can't see that that's that bad. Jeez. But whatever. It's time to be heading home. Yes, I'm picking up the eggs. I also want to be making a chicken farm at some point. I don't think there are any chickens in, uh, <laughs> immediately around home, so... This is the easiest way. <laughs> and I realize... <coughs> Excuse me. That's another reason I need to be ending this video. I've been talking way too much for my... Trying to recover this over this sickness thing. Um, oh, it's gonna be nighttime again. <laughs> Always build by spawn. Whatever your spawn happens to be, always build by the original spawn. Even if it's not going to be your default base, even if you're going to move off to some other area, some other biome or whatever, build by spawn like a little hut or something. Just so you can always find your way back, you know? Just get yourself a compass, and then you can always find your way back. Build a small hut or shelter, or even just like a pathway or whatever, to lead you from spawn to your home base, if that happens to be the case. I always try and build by spawn, if at all possible. Just because then I know I can never get lost, because I can always use a compass to find my way back, no matter where I go. Other than in the nether, of course. I don't think compasses work in the nether. Or in the end realm, either. They probably don't work there very well. I don't think I've ever been to the end. Fought the end dragon or anything like that. <laughs> and mainly that's because it takes a lot of patience, a lot of time, and a lot of effort to go find one of those stupid strongholds or whatever underground to where the end portals are. You have to get a ton of ender pearls or whatever and make them into ender eyes or whatever and and then throw them around, hope they don't explode on you or get lost on you in that whole attempt to find the stupid underground passage and stuff. And So I don't think I've ever really been to the end that I remember. I know I'm not following the thing of torches either, but I didn't start from where I put them, so I can't. If I happen to find them on my adventure back, I will use that trail. But I'm probably past them at this point. Whoa! Oh, I didn't want to do that. It's okay, sheep. I will save you. If you can find your way out of the one block, you will be saved. There we go. There's home base.
one of the benefits of building a big building like that is that you can see it from a ways. And you know you're going to be home. So I'm thinking next time, next video, we should be able to get to work on the actual base. Or not the base, the bridge from base to base. I think I'm going to, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I think I'm going to use the contours of the land for the base. I think I'm going to have the, or the, I keep saying the base, the bridge. Um, I'm going to have the bridge about six blocks high above the ground at any one point, but I think it'll be a constant six blocks high no matter where I put the pylon, so the bridge will go up and down and kind of up and around the hills and stuff, and I think that could be kind of cool rather than just a straight plain bridge all over from one point to the other and cuz that can be kind of boring i don't know also it'll keep the pylons uniform and that'll save work on me trying to figure out how to make one super long pylon look similar to one super short one <laughs> if i just keep them all the same length and base the bridge around that uh <coughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, boys and girls. We got more jungle saplings, a lot more cocoa beans. We've got some melons, more cocoa beans. God, we got way more cocoa beans than I thought we would. Um, even some jungle wood for no reason, and eggs. Even some oak saplings. Next time, we'll... Uh, hopefully see about getting to work on the actual bridge design itself so i uh, hope you're looking forward to that stay tuned for more next time i'm the good old gamer this has been more bountiful minecraft Bye bye for now